integrity men that rescue men and women and we're delighted that you've joined us again for an experience through the Word of God God is doing the miraculous God is doing the unprecedented God is doing what our minds cannot even comprehend I'm excited about Ephesians 3 and 20 now <laughs> unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think of him according to the power that worketh in us mm -hmm. and the question we got for you tonight is what kind of power is working in you you have got to grab this Word of God and believe the Word of God amen. before we get into the scriptures brethren what do you feel amen that God is really declaring to the people of God well, I think, Bishop, that really God just want to blow our minds. Yes. According to Ephesians 3.20, yes. he want to do a way beyond what we can imagine or what we can think. Yes, so I, I would encourage the people, take the limits off. Let God blow your mind. All right. Yeah, and the Bible says that we've limited the Holy One, but God yes. is saying, don't limit me. Oh, wow. He just, Good. Just, just let me do what I want to do <laughs> and just stand back and watch me and wonder. Yeah. Amen. Stop trying God mm -hmm. and start trusting God. Yeah. Let's yeah, get yeah. into the Word Amen. of God. The Word of God is found in John 20 and 28. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in the book. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through mm. his name. All right. What an awesome responsibility it is, brethren, to be able to maintain the faith that you've mm. acquired in God and not allow situations and circumstances to cause you to waver in Good. what God has decreed or declared over your life. This is the season and the time to lock in your mm -hmm. belief in the Word of God. Let's mm -hmm. weigh in on that. Well, Bishop, I, I believe it's uh, so pivotal that you said that because we got to develop our faith. And back to the point we said we got to develop it on the Word of God, not situations. And you said something so powerful, I think a lot of believers do operate in situational faith. Mm -hmm. So every time something appears, we're not settled. Yeah. You know, so we got to adjust every time something appears. But we got to be already rock solid before something manifests. Yeah, and you know, 2 Corinthians tells us that we walk by faith no. and not by sight or the mm -hmm. realm of the senses. So we got to get that faith walked down. Oh, yeah. 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 There are many scriptures about faith in the Bible. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and mm -hmm. the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. What is he really talking about there when he talks about faith? Sometimes people think that when we talk about faith, it's such an elementary subject, but faith is really the very foundation by which we live, move, and have our beings. So let's weigh in on that scripture there. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. I think what he uh, pointed us to, Bishop, is that the Word of God have to become the substance. Uh, we have to learn to walk by faith on the Word of God, trust in the Word of God, not what is manifest, not what is is. See, the Word can cause what is not to be, mm -hmm. if that makes sense to yes. us. And so what we're doing yeah. is if we walk by sight, we're looking from the physical eyes. Mm -hmm. If we walk by faith, we're looking from the eyes of the heart. Yeah. And that's where the Holy Spirit dwells, is in the heart. And so that's what he's saying. Get the word of God. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I would not sin against thee. And I believe this also, Bishop, when we walk by faith, we're not easily moved by what we see with the physical eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me weigh on that before you move that. David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart mm -hmm. that I might not sin against you. In my understanding of that, and you can weigh in, uh, agree or disagree, that the biggest thing that David fought was, I don't want to doubt him. 
Yeah. The word that is in my heart yeah. keeps me from doubting mm -hmm. God's ability, God's purpose, and God's plan yeah. for my life. And many people get into the place of situations and circumstances where doubt comes in of what God has already said, promised, mm. decreed. Yeah. And so the word that I've hid in my heart keeps my faith strong in what it is that God has spoken concerning my life. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I think David is also speaking to the power of the word. So if we can get this word in our yeah. heart, you know, it will keep us. It, yeah. is, it is a keeper. And this is, the, and this is the grace through that word that God uses to give us the ability to do what he's commanded us to do. So David say, he say, hey, if I try to do this thing myself without any strength from God, I'm not going to make it. That's but right. if I get this word in my heart, this yeah. word has power. It's mm -hmm. alive. Yeah. And it will harness my spirit. And mm. of course, my spirit will harness my soul and my and my body. So <coughs> he speaks to this power of the word that we've yeah. got mm -hmm. to have. I mean, we got to have it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you, weigh on this, Bishop Foreman, as, as, as a thought. The first step of failure is doubt. Yeah. Weigh, mm -hmm. weigh, weigh in on that. What, what, is, what is your perception as it relates to that? Uh, basically, Jack, like Apostle was saying, we, we battle, Bishop, uh, the first thing, and we, we doubt the ability of God. We, and we're looking at our current situation. If you really look at the way everything began with sin, with Satan in the garden, he challenged Eve on what God had said. Mm -hmm. He works this all the time. Notice what it said, have God said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. To us, we got to get to this point. It's all about what God has said yes. and is saying because he cannot lie. Yes. You know, and so again, the doubt, what we got to do is like the, uh, the man with the lunatic son said, look, I believe, Lord, but help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. And even as we talk about Thomas here, I believe there's a little Thomas in all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have, to, we have to let the word become the evident. Yes. And, and I believe a good connection with this bishop is we always look for physical evidence to believe God other than the word. Mm -hmm. Wow. We look for physical evidence. And God say, can, can I just give you a word? <laughs> and I believe that God want to grow us and mature us to the point that he can just speak a word mm. and he don't have to do no tricks. Mm -hmm. He ain't got to have no, no outside evidence. I'm just going to tell you, just like all he did with Abraham, the Bible say he told Abraham about a land he never saw. Mm -hmm. Abraham mm -hmm. took him at his word. And Abraham wasn't even fully saved, wasn't even fully believer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, I think what doubt comes in, too, is that we lose our focus. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, when Peter was in the boat? Exactly. Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, now if it be you, bid me to come. Mm -hmm. And Jesus gave him that word. And that word was powerful enough to bring him through. But as he was walking toward Jesus, the wind was already blowing. Yeah, before, yeah. Yeah, the storms and everything, the waves were going even before he got out the boat. So what happened is that he got out the boat looking at Jesus, and all of a sudden he lost his focus. Mm -hmm. He stopped looking at Jesus, and he started looking at what was around him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, when he started losing his focus, that doubt come in, he started sinking. Mm -hmm. Verse 6 says, it is impossible, impossible for us to please God right. without faith. Mm. And he is a rewarder who diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. So how is it then that we're able to keep pressing when our faith is really at failure mode? Mm -hmm. Because we're beginning to doubt. So, right, 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 so right. It, it's impossible to get to this reception of what God has promised when right. we're failing in doubt. I, I think we have to uh, renew the mind, Bishop, because as Apostle was saying, really doubt um, in the Greek is, it means to waver. Mm -hmm. Just like Peter, it, you mean the way, because you already believe, mm -hmm. but the waves, uh, the cares of this life, which really, uh, yeah. according to Matthew 13, that's really what chokes out the word, mm -hmm. is the cares of this life. It's not that you don't believe, but the cares of this life begin to choke out what you believe and cause you to waver. But reason I say renew the mind, because James said, a double-minded man mm -hmm. is right. unstable, unstable in all of his ways. Yeah. So that's yeah. what we go back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. So we got to renew that mind, Bishop, realign, realign readjust, reimagine what God have said. You may have been walking with the Lord for quite some time and situations and circumstances could begin to weaken or cause you to waver. So the question I want to ask you tonight based on what Apostle Grace and Apostle uh, Fisher just said, 
When is the last time you checked your faith alignment? Yeah. When is yeah. the last time Good. you have had a renewing yeah. of your mind, hmm. being yeah. able to lock in with the Word of God? And when I believe that when you realign, you lock in with the Word of God, you begin to receive that reward which has been promised by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Do you have to struggle to get a blessing? Do you have to mm -hmm. wrestle to get a blessing? Yeah. Or can you do what Apostle Grace said? Can you just receive a word that God has yes. spoken, lock in on that word, and watch the manifestation mm. of God's power to unveil yeah. what it is that God has said? I, I was preaching Sunday and God spoke this word to me. He says, one prayer, patience, and praise. Okay. All, you, all it takes is one, pa one prayer, patience, yeah. and then your continuation of praise. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now when you get here then, it says that God gives each person a measure of faith. Mm -hmm. Let's weigh in on that. Mm -hmm. so, so where does my faith start at? What, what, where is this measure and then how do I grow it? Right. I believe that God give every man a, a, and every person a measure, Bishop, but you can't grow the measure. Yeah. And uh, I think some people right. tend to say, well, all I need is a mustard seed of faith. And that's fine. But I believe that you can grow it, you mm -hmm. know, and I believe we do that by our maturity in the Word of God. And yeah. God starts at, start us off at a level. And I believe he works like this all throughout the Bible. He start at a level and seeing we grow into a greater maturity and we can, he can trust us with more. Okay. Yeah. And then you think people misunderstand when they was talking about the mustard seed. Jesus was really trying to indicate the power of faith. Right, but right, right, right. We must go from faith to faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because remember the, the disciples had little faith, but they, they had a lot of problems. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, um, uh, and, and Jesus kind of re lightly reproved me and said, Oh, thou of little faith. So yeah. little faith is not going to get big things done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we have to in, uh, we have to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's yeah. how our faith is going to increase. I want to challenge you on what Apostle Fisher just said. If you have great problems, it's possible that you have small faith, <laughs> a little faith. Mm -hmm. But if you have great faith, uh -huh. then it's possible you can deal yeah. with great problems. Yeah. You're trying to say something possible. <laughs> I think and that is very powerful. The Lord is simply trying to get us to a place, Bishop, of just trust in Him. Yes. And mm -hmm. I think we have to just really get to the place of relaxing and rest in Him and realize really everything is on Him anyway. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. not really doing all that. Yeah. He, the <laughs> Philippians actually say He's the one that's working in us, mm -hmm. both the will and to do. Yeah. So He's the one that's given us the desire and the ability to do. You know, yeah. so again, all we got to do is to rely on it is God that has made us. Yeah. See, and we didn't make yeah, ourselves. Yeah. That's what the psalmist mm -hmm. said. Yeah. Again, we came forth from God. So I don't know why we worrying. You know, again, he's, he's have us in his hand. Mm -hmm. He's our shepherd. He's yeah. our guide. Yeah. He's our provider. So he's saying, will you just trust me and stop fretting mm -hmm. from these things that keep manifesting? Yeah. yeah. Let me throw something Go at ahead. you, Apostle, that you weigh in on this. Jesus says, blessed are those who have not seen mm -hmm. and yet believe. Yeah. Mm. So how is this faith developed when I haven't seen, mm -hmm. but well, yet I believe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, see, what he's simply saying is that Thomas should have took his brethren at their word. Right. Because that's, that's how the word came to us, right? Mm -hmm. we, haven't, we haven't seen Jesus, mm -hmm. but we believe the gospel. Yeah. And yeah. that's why he said, he said, blessed is those that believe and have not seen. See, Thomas believed because he saw Jesus, yep. but you, we're, we're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. We're not going to see all this thing. We just got to take God at his word, and we're going to find out if we believe, then we will see. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to see a little bit and, and then believe, believe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Man, that's not going to work with yeah, God. It okay. ain't going to work. Right, go ahead, take us to the next phase of that then. <laughs> I, I believe uh, I'm, I'm in agreement with Apostle. Um, he's sending us back, Bishop, right to the Word of God. Remember John said this, John 7, 37. He says, if you believe on me as the Scripture, scripture have said. Yes. So again, see, I'm not 
I'm not looking at what I see. I'm going to believe him according to the word of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At that time, he said, believe me according to the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. They have spoken to me. They have prophesied to me. So he's saying, blessed are they that's going to believe my word. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is really where we get the manifestation of the power of God. Yeah. The manifestation of the Holy Ghost come from the word of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Believing on him as the scripture have said. So it's right back to what we've been teaching several weeks back, Bishop, about the word of God. Yeah. It, it, it comes to the, the point of his word is confirmed mm -hmm. by signs and wonders. Right. Many people want the signs and the wonders, but have not yet <laughs> embraced the word of God. <laughs> you know, and so I want the bells and the whistles, <laughs> you know, but I don't want what proceeds that. And that uh. is really being saturated in the word of God, mm -hmm. really coming to the place where I have developed a relationship with him, where we trust that he's in control yeah. and that he has our best interest in mind. Yeah. So let me throw this on the table uh, and let you guys weigh on this. How do I maintain this faith when I don't really understand mm -hmm. what God's doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think basically, again, Bishop, just into the Word of God, getting the mind, the mind of Christ, mm -hmm. simply by the Word of God. Um, we have to agree with what God has said in His Word, mm -hmm. not what's, uh, what uh, situation produces, but the Word of God. This is how we're going to maintain faith, because you got to go back to what you quoted earlier, Hebrews 11 and 1, you mm -hmm. said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we yeah. can simply say, now the Word is, mm -hmm. because That's everything right. came from, from the Word. That's yeah. right. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's all right. things were made by Him. That's what Paul said to the church at Colossae. He said all things were made by Him, made by the Word of God. Yeah. So if we would just track with the Word of God, we can maintain our faith because that's where faith comes from. Mm -hmm. Romans 10, 17. Okay. Faith comes by hearing and hearing mm -hmm. by the Word of God. Let well, me, go ahead. Well, see, you were saying something. We, if we don't trust God, His reputation, He can't lie. Yeah, yeah. He's faithful. Mm -hmm. Nothing is too hard for Him. He demonstrated His love by sending His Son. We got to have all of that so that when God speaks the word, we don't have to understand it. We just have to know who said it. Yes. Uh, Do you yes, understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And when we, know mm -hmm. who, when we know who said it, yeah. watch this here. Well, we'll simply say, well, if he said it, that's, that's seven. It. That's seven. That's seven. Okay. Life isn't always fair, but is God always just? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's always just. He's yeah. always just. And because, one, he can't change. Yeah. That's right. You know, life, things in life can change. You know, um, of course, like the weather in Central Texas, that can change at any given moment. <laughs> but God, life, life can always throw different things at us, but God will always remain the same vision. He cannot lie. Yeah. Yeah. It's impossible for him to lie. That's right. And Psalms 84, let mm -hmm. me put this one in. Go Psalms ahead. 89 and 14 says, Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Mm -hmm. God is a God of justice, and he makes wrong things right. But many times we have to go through painful circumstances we don't understand while he's working on our behalf to bring justice into our lives. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say that God is really trying to say to the people of God with that statement? Yeah. Well, you know, he's, just, he's saying, he say, I'm a holy God. Mm -hmm. And he say, you can count on God. He's going to do right all the time. Amen. Not, yeah, not yeah. some of the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. All the time. And yeah. he's just, you understand? And he has, he has your best interest at hand. He knows about you. He knows what you need. He knows what it takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And on and on and on. Yeah. Yeah. Make a proclamation of encouragement to the people as it relates to life isn't always fair, but God is always just. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I would say this uh, is back to God is unchanged. His promises are, are sure, Bishop. And again, we can trust him. But even regarding to pain, pain is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Pain simply in the body just lets you know something is wrong. And so sometimes in going through things, God says, okay, I'm going to adjust your faith. I'm going to nurture your faith. Mm -hmm. So I would just encourage the people to let them know that don't focus on the pain, focus on the promise. Amen. That's mm -hmm. really good. There. There go. Faith in God is the key to trust in him in every circumstance. So walking by faith means that when there are unanswered questions, we can be okay that because God is in control mm -hmm. and we're determined to trust him no matter what. There mm. you go. Yeah, well, you see, you just said it. I mean, 
God is in control. Yes. And we have to be determined to trust him because of his testimony about himself. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it ain't no struggle with God. I think the, the struggle is with us. Yeah. yeah. And so we got to have those things. I, I, I call them anchor boats. Mm -hmm. We got to have some anchor boats in our lives mm -hmm. that keep us bolted to the foundation no matter what we can't understand, no matter yeah. what we don't see, no matter what the pain is. Job had those anchor boats. Yeah. He said, though he slay me, which God was really not slaying it, but he said, though he slay me, yet mm -hmm. will I trust him because yeah. of God's reputation. God knows what he's doing. Pearlous times have set in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The end times are, are really here. Mm -hmm. And just like the military in peacetime prepares for war, mm -hmm. yeah. it is time now that the people of God begin to use all of the tools, the word, the faith, the patience, the mm -hmm. fruit of God's spirit yeah. as we are moving into these pearlous times. Weigh mm -hmm. in on that. And you're right, um, Bishop, I believe we just need to wake up. I mean, the body of Christ overall. And we got to get to a place of learning how to walk in spirituality more than in reality. Mm. And that is why we sort of devalue the Word of God. We devalue spiritual things. Mm. And see, God is spirit. Yeah. You know, and again, when we devalue spiritual things, we tend to exalt reality more than spirituality, which means mm. we exalt what is more than what can be. Yeah. That's why we cannot prophesy and we can't speak what can be. Yes. Because we have so much priority on the things that is. Even when we're trying to fix something, we're trying to fix what is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're not trying to bring in nothing new. You know, right. God is trying That's to right. bring in life. He's yeah. trying to He's trying to give mm -hmm. us revival. He's trying to give us a refreshing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we got to learn to think like Him, Bishop. We got yeah. to align ourselves like Him. Get out of reality so much, and because people like to say, "Let's keep it real. Let's mm -hmm. keep it real." Yeah. But and that's you focusing on reality. Yeah. But that's not spirituality. That's yeah. right. That's spirituality right. dictates reality. Yes, yeah. sir. And then you know we have to, and like you say, these are perilous times, and it's really not going to get better. So the best thing for us to do is to draw closer, draw closer to yeah. Lord, and 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 lay hold. Lay hold yeah. on eternal life. You yeah. understand what I'm yes. saying? Yes. You got to get a good yeah. grip. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, somebody said he said he said if the rope break, he said reach above the break. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because that's the only way you're gonna hang on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's an awesome time, really, for the saints of God. Mm -hmm. It's not a sad time. Oh, no. It not is enough. an awesome time yeah. to be able to look at what you're dealing with, look at what is in front of you, and be able to speak the word of God to it. There you yeah. go. And there watch you go. the manifestation watch of the it. power of God change yes. that situation Jesus. around. Yeah. I want to say it again. These are not bad this times, is the best hurting, times. crying time. This is the time that God says that I'm going to manifest myself in the earth. I'm going to show myself strong and mighty in the eyes of the believers yeah. and mm -hmm. those that I can just stretch out in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen, Bishop. I'm telling you, this is the best time. I don't care what is going on. I want to say the same thing to the believer that's mm -hmm. listening right now. Put our confidence in God, yeah. not in the White House, not in the politician. Yeah. And again, if Jesus, if people could hear this, Jesus said, let me throw my hat in the range right now. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. I can help you with this. I mean, our confidence is in the Lord. Yeah. I can see God doing great things. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, we're, we're seeing what this Bible has been talking about. Yes. yes. And yes. then I, I look at mm -hmm. it like this here. Uh, if we were born in this time, God in his infinite wisdom thought that we could handle this time. Yes. You understand? Hallelujah. We would like to have probably been born in the cowboy days. Yeah. I like, <laughs> but see, the cowboy days wouldn't have been good enough for me. Yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't made for that time. Yeah. No, but wasn't. we are made for this we're time. We are made for this time. We are yeah. made for this yes. time. Yes. And yeah. so we just, well, uh, uh, just get with it, right? Yeah. Yes. And say, God, I thank you for this time yeah. and do what you will. Um, uh, uh, and I'm ready. Yeah, good. good. You are made for this time. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Powerful. You, God has sustained you for such a time as this there you Jesus. Go. to there you exercise go. the power and authority of God's word in your family, mm -hmm. in your business, in your social life, amongst your children. You mm -hmm. were made and created Jesus. to exalt God That's in true. times like these. All yeah. right. God All expects right. us to live All holy right. in a perverse generation. Mm -hmm. Come on now. This is your time to shine, Jesus. not your time to 
faint, but this is the your time, time to shine. shine. Let's weigh on this as we <laughs> close out of here. Now unto him, him come on, that, that is able. able. That's go, right. ahead. go ahead. I, I believe that, Bishop, that we got to simply believe just that. And according yes. to Acts 17, 28, it is in him that we live. Yes. Move mm. and have our being. Yes. And, and I want to share with the believer that, look, let's just trust him. This yes. is the best time yes. to live that God will manifest himself. In the book of Chronicles, it talked about a tribe called Ishakar. Yes. They was born for that time. Yes. They mm -hmm. knew the season. Yes. So that's, I believe we're born for this time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Nebuchadnezzar um, uh, asked the question, said, who is that God yes. yeah. that yeah. will deliver you out of my hand? Well, the Hebrew boy said, our God is able yes. and yeah. he will. Yes. He will. He will. He and will. so we got to keep that. No matter what, yeah. our God is able. And then one more thing. Gideon said, well, Lord, how am I going to save the, yeah, the yeah. Israel? Mm -hmm. He said, he say, I'm with you. Yeah. That's, That's how you're going to do simple. it. Mm -hmm. Very if simple. I'm with you, it's going to happen. Wow. Very simple. <laughs> if God's with you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. Now unto him who is able mm -hmm. to keep you from falling. Yeah. Right. You don't have to fall in these perilous times. Come on now. You don't have to fall to the frustration, the aggravation and devastation that's all around you. Yeah. He's able to present you faultless oh, right. in the presence of his coming, yeah. not with a broken heart and a sad heart, <laughs> Come but on with joy, exceeding joy. Yeah, that's right. Come on, you got about 30 <laughs> seconds to lay in I, on this. I just want to let the people know that, Bishop, no matter what, they're in the hand of God. When you accept him there, he got you in his hand. Yeah. Even if you fall, you're in his hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's able to lift you and able to pick yeah. you up. So I want them to rest in him. Yeah. And then the scripture says, weeping may endure it for the night, but joy, but joy cometh, cometh in the morning. And the joy of the Lord is, is our strength. strength. Uh -huh. Amen. Now unto him who is mm -hmm. able that's to, right. to keep you from falling, yeah. present you faultless, faultless before the presence of his coming with exceeding joy. Mm. Look here, I'm going to give y'all 30 more seconds. He's the <laughs> only wise God. Uh -huh. yeah, he is the only wise <laughs> God. Go. And I, I like to say that, Bishop, because sometimes the greatest temptation is we want to take matters in our own hands yes. instead of trusting him. And that's where we panic. The only reason we doubt is simply because we can't see a way. Yes. But as we're talking in the, tonight, we don't have to see, just trust him. That's yes. right. We don't have to see because the things that are seen a temporal. Yes. There you go. But the thing that are not seen is eternal. Are eternal. eternal. Yeah. He's the only wise God. <laughs> to him be majesty, dominion, and power. Yeah. Everything is subject to the God that we serve. That's right. Mm. That's right. And when he lives in you and you're filled with the Holy Father, Spirit and power, you. then all the kingdoms of darkness are subject to you. All yeah. right. What an awesome and a mighty God we serve. Yeah. I want to tell you to get in your word. And then there get you on your knees yeah. and get into the presence of God. Mm. And you shall reign with power and authority. And you can believe even though you have not, not seen. seen. All right. Ten seconds and we're out of here. What you got to say? Fear is what's really blocking a lot of people, Bishop, simply because they don't see a way. Yes. They just need to get rid of the fear. Yeah, and Paul said the spirit of faith is this. We believe. Therefore, we speak. Praise yeah. the name of God. Hallelujah. I want you to sow a seed of faith in this word tonight. You've been blessed by this word because I'm being blessed sitting at the table with these anointed <laughs> men of God. Write yeah. that check to KPLE and sow a seed of faith. The address is on the screen. And I want you to remember, we are mm. praying for your miracle. Mm. God bless you. This is Bishop Shaw. How do you bear?